What is the force of gravity on a 10 kilogram object twice Earth's radius above Earth, i.e. three Earth radiuses from the center, right? So yeah, here's, here's one radius, two radiuses, three radiuses, right? So it is going to be this times three will be our radius. So 6.38 E6 times three is, wow, that's an unhelpful number. It is 19.14 uh, times 10 to the sixth meters is my distance. All right, I could have figured that out without a calculator. All right, so now I'm just going to use this formula, right? Force is gm1 m2 over r squared, so 6.67e minus 11. This is one of the masses, right? So I'm going to go 10. The other mass is the Earth's mass, right? So that's this guy. And then that's divided by 18.14. Pardon the improper scientific notation. Okay. 6.67e minus 11 times 10 times 5.97e. 24 divided by the answer I just got. Square that thing. Do I have these all right? I think so. 10.86, 10.9, okay. 10.9 uh, newtons. Another way to do this, by the way, is if you're three times as far away, you should have one ninth the force, right? So 10 kilogram object on the surface of the earth is 10 times 9.8 is 98 newtons, right? If you're three times farther away, it's, since it's inverse square, should be that divided by, well, three squared, right? So that divided by nine. Let's try that, 98 divided by nine. Hey, that's 10.9 as well. Okay, you know, but there you go. I, this is just for the talented and gifted folks among us. I'm only talented, but I'm not gifted, so.